So you're thinking about moving to Manhattan Beach, California. Well, today you're in luck. I'm touring Manhattan Beach. What is it like to live in this exclusive neighborhood? Is the beach as good as everyone says? What are the homes like, the school, the crime? What is it like to raise a family here? Is it a great place to retire? Well, today you're in luck. I'm gonna to tour Manhattan Beach, cover all those points, take a look at the homes. That's what you're looking for? Follow me. I'm Matt Tilly, the British bloke. I'm a local realtor. And if you're looking to make a move to Manhattan Beach sometime in the next year, give me a call. I'm always happy to help. I made the move from England in 2008, so I know what it's like to make a gigantic move, the trepidation that goes along with it. And I do videos every week on topics on what it's like to live in Los Angeles County and Orange County. So if that's what you're looking for. Please like and subscribe. Hope to see you at my next video. So a little bit about Manhattan Beach, population 36,000. You're about 15 miles from Santa Monica, 17 miles from Beverly Hills, about 20 miles from downtown LA. And a great thing, you're only five miles from LAX. So if you do a lot of traveling throughout the year, that is perfect. Manhattan Beach was voted the fifth best suburb in California to live by niche.com and the eighth best to raise a family. Let's go see what it's all about, shall we? All right, whenever I come to Manhattan Beach, Hermosa Beach, Redondo Beach and talk to the locals, you always hear them saying that where they live is the best. Redondo Beach people say Redondo Beach is the best because we share all the amenities as Hermosa and Manhattan Beach, but our homes are half the price of Manhattan Beach. You speak to Hermosa Beach natives and they say Hermosa Beach is right in the middle. It's cool and trendy. Not my house prices are cheaper than Manhattan Beach, so we are the best. And then when you come to Manhattan Beach, they say, of course, we're the best. We have the best restaurants, the best bars. We have the best education. We have the best homes. Yes, it's more expensive, but guess why? Because it's the best. You tell me, I kind of understand everyone's point of view, um, but if you ask me if I had to live in one of them, I'll tell you at the end. Okay, I can hear it already. Matt, get on with it. We're moving to Manhattan Beach. How much do the houses cost? That's the most important thing. All right, well, let's get right to it. If you're east of the PCH in Manhattan Beach, you can buy decent two-bed condos for about $1.2 million. But obviously, when you get to the west of the PCH, home prices start going up the closer you get to the beach. Now you can buy entry level three bed homes west of the PCH for about 1.8 million. They won't be anything special though, trust me. To be honest, a good budget in Manhattan Beach really is north of 2.8 million. And really the closer you get to the beach, you need 4 million upwards. There's homes for sale right now here in Manhattan Beach, $30 million. If you want to live on the Strand, five million gets you an absolute fixer. Um, so yeah, if you're looking to move to Manhattan Beach, it's not cheap. Uh, good budget, like I said, three, four million dollars. But what does that get you? First of all, I'm on the Strand right now. You can see these beautiful houses. You can see these beautiful sandy beaches, world-class beaches on your doorstep. A lot of people in America have to fly to Hawaii or the Caribbean or who knows where to get these beautiful beaches. Manhattan Beach, you can walk out of your door, depending on where you live, five minute walk and you're at these world class beaches. So if you ask me, that is a huge plus. And if you're moving to Manhattan Beach, you might as well like beaches. You have to like beaches. You're paying a premium to live here because of the paradise of the beach life. So if beaches aren't really your thing, you kind of like the mountains or more of the city vibe, don't pay the premium. It's like moving to Santa Monica and not liking beaches. It just doesn't really make sense. But if you like the outdoor lifestyle, running in the morning, biking, swimming in this beautiful ocean, well, beautiful, hmm. <laughs> but it's nice and people do swim in it, though it is kind of cold all year round. Um, Manhattan Beach is an unbelievable place. Um, and one of the reasons why people think Manhattan Beach is better than Hermosa and Redondo is the location. If you work up in Culver City, Beverly Hills, Santa Monica, you're a lot closer. Um, it's very doable in the morning maybe 35, 40 minutes, depending on where you're going. So really, if you wanna work up in the city, even downtown LA, to be honest, though, that's a little bit of a, more of a trek. Another plus, if you ask me, it really does have a kind of a small town vibe. 
population 36,000 um, and yeah it has lots of fancy restaurants and bars but it also has the small mum and pop shops small eateries that have been here forever and when you're walking around walking past neighbors homes it feels like everyone knows everyone everyone's in each other's business a little bit everyone knows which who lives on the corner what the families are what they do what they're going through so if you like that close-knit community vibe Manhattan Beach is definitely for you. If you kind of want to keep to yourself, it's kind of hard because as you can see, the homes are right next to each other. You're not getting large lots like in Beverly Hills, Pacific Palisades or Brentwood where you don't even need to see your neighbors. If you live in Manhattan Beach, you are stacked on top of each other. The homes basically take up the entire lot. If you want land and dirt, Manhattan Beach is not for you. If you want the beach, it probably is. And what you'll find in Manhattan Beach, you'll be walking down streets and there'll be these beautiful, completely modern, brand new homes right next to original 1950s small homes that haven't been updated. Someone's lived there forever. Um, there's lots selling right now for $3.5 million in Manhattan Beach. And they're buying up the lot with the little house on it. They're knocking it down and people are building two townhomes on there selling them for five million a piece and if you don't like running on the sand uh, you've got a nice little trail here uh, just off the beach two minutes from the beach um, but a lot of runners down here um, kind of feels like you're out in the wilderness even though you're in the middle of manhattan beach uh, nice touch so i wanted to get away from the beach where the house prices are just so inflated and expensive to kind of show you real prices of manhattan beach now i'm on ninth street just north of ardmore um, and it's still expensive, trust me, five, six million dollars. But you can get homes on bigger lots, say five, six thousand square foot lots, three, four thousand square foot homes. Um, there's a lot of different types of architecture in Manhattan Beach. Like I said, you've got the older buildings, but you've got the brand new builds as well. A lot of development happening in Manhattan Beach right now. If you're looking for two story homes, no problem. Also single stories if you don't want to navigate the stairs. And it has a really great vibe. Is it a great place to raise the kids? Yes, of course it is. You're by the beach, you've got the outdoor activities. You're close to Santa Monica and, um, and Hollywood. And the schools. Manhattan Beach has an amazing school district. Um, it's very competitive, also great private schools. So if you're really looking to get your kids into the best school in the country, Manhattan Beach, it's really up there. Some people always say to me, what about the homeless or the tourists in Manhattan Beach? Are there tourists? Yeah, it's an awesome beach town like Santa Monica. Of course there's tourists. Are there as many tourists as Santa Monica? No. Uh, if you ask me, I think more local tourism in Manhattan Beach. Uh, people coming from LA for the day just to hang out. Homeless people, it's not bad. I don't really see any. You go to Santa Monica, woof, it's out of control right now. But Manhattan Beach, um, you know, I know they have their own police force and uh, they seem to really have their foot on the pulse when it comes to homeless issue, which is obviously rampaging through LA right now. Um, so yeah, homeless. No big deal. So I think this really sums up Manhattan Beach when it comes to architecture. Right here, you've got this little probably 1200 square foot house, still probably two and a half million. And then right next door, you've got this big, you can't really tell, but this big new build monster, um, probably six million. So um, yeah, right next door, you've got the small homes and the big homes, the old homes and the new homes, but that's Manhattan Beach for you. You know, are the streets as wide and tree-lined, as beautiful as, Beverly Hills, Pacific Palisades, Brentwood. No, they're small, <laughs> but that's just the way it is in Manhattan Beach. What's the parking like? People often complain about the parking. As you can see here, there's plenty of parking on the street right now. Yeah, when you get to the beach, it's a bit of a nightmare. So they're single family homes we were just looking at. Obviously Manhattan Beach, South Bay in general, also known, well, not Palos Verde, but Redondo Beach, Hermosa Beach, Manhattan Beach also known for its townhomes. With townhomes come HOA, and obviously townhomes are built on the entire lot, so you don't get a backyard, but you do get a potential balcony or rooftop, um, but they are obviously cheaper as well. So a lot of them being built right now, they're pretty sexy and definitely a better price. Also, if you're looking for gated communities or even homes with gates, 
doesn't really exist if you're looking for that extra bit of security. Once again, if you're up in the Palisades, Beverly Hills, even Santa Monica, um, you get home through gates. Um, Manhattan Beach, not so much. So now I'm on Manhattan Beach Boulevard, just north of Ardmore. Um, recently, there's some four bed, two bath townhomes sold for 1.8, 1.9 million. Um, so like I said, if you're happy with a townhome, no yard, but you can definitely get something for under 2 million. Will it be gray and updated? No. Will it be in Manhattan Beach? Yes. And more importantly, are they walking distance to the beach and the shops and the hustle and bustle? Yes, they are. And take a look at these crime stats. Not bad. Are they the best in LA County? No. Are they the worst? No. Are they near the top of the list? Yeah, they are. Um, I'm very comfortable if I was moving to Manhattan Beach with a family. I'd be very comfortable with these statistics. I wanted to bring you to the tree section of Manhattan Beach. It's about a 20 minute walk from the pier. Only about a mile, six minute drive. Not too bad. But you're further enough away from the beach where... Oh, I'm getting swamped by cars here. <laughs> um, you're further en enough away from the beach where prices drop. Now... Are you getting a good bang for your buck? No, this is Manhattan Beach, but you can buy 4,000 square foot homes, five bedroom homes for $4 million. Now, the same home here on the walk streets would cost you six to eight million. The same home here on the Strand would cost you 10 to 15 million. So with that in mind, 4 million doesn't sound too bad. Um, as you can see, the some nice homes here. Um, the streets are wider than they were down the walk streets, closer to the beach. More of a family vibe, as you can see here. You've got the basketball net. Where is it? Oh, there it is, the basketball net. Kids playing in the streets. Um, so yeah, if you're moving to Manhattan Beach and you've got some two young kids, 10, 12, maybe teenagers, you need a bigger home um, with a yard that doesn't necessarily break the bank, <laughs> the South Bay. Uh, look at the tree section. Um, really nice, nice neighborhood. Once again, lots of different types of architecture. Um, you know, you've got the Spanish right there, you've got the new build, and you've got kind of the beachy vibe. So look at that, three homes in a row, all different types of architecture. So um, plenty to choose from. Um, and if you're coming to Manhattan Beach to buy a new build, they really kind of go by <laughs> the same the same plan right now. It's all white with black trim, and black garages. That must be all the rage because that's what every developer is doing right now in Manhattan Beach. And then if you look at the older homes, the bigger homes, very much this style, which I really like. That's probably closer to six million dollars though that home just because of the sheer size of it. Um, but yeah, so you want to live in Manhattan Beach, but you want to get a better price, more of a thousand a square foot, which is about as low as it goes in Manhattan Beach. Check out the tree section. You're still close enough to the hustle and bustle. Um, nice, good community vibe. A lot of people born and raised in Manhattan Beach and never leave. Um, but yeah, tree section, some beautiful homes. To be honest, if I was moving to Manhattan Beach with around four million, um, I would definitely be looking at the tree section. And uh, you're a little bit closer to Hollywood and Beverly Hills and Santa Monica as well, if that's what you're looking for. And here's a home currently for sale for $4 million. It's five bedroom, 3,200 square foot, um, 4,400 square foot lot. So decent sized lot for Manhattan Beach. Um, beautiful inside. But if you said to me, Matt, oh well, I almost just fell over. Oof, this is a uh, 8th Street, be careful. <laughs> No, if you said, look, Matt, we want to live as close to the beach as possible, but we don't want to break the bank. We have a great budget, but we're not wanting to spend $10 million plus. We don't care about a lot. We just want to be as close to the action as possible. Take a look at the walk streets, the three, 400 blocks. You can't go wrong. Um, this house was just on the market. It was for $8 million, but absolutely beautiful. It was one of the nicest homes I've ever been in my life. I went and bought a lottery ticket that night just in case I could win and buy it. It was so beautiful. My girlfriend wouldn't leave the house. She like tied herself up to the chair because she didn't want to leave. It was that good. That's eight million. Obviously, that is the high, high end. This was done beautiful. Um, you can get ones three, four million dollars as well. 
Um, you're on the walk streets, which means no cars are driving past. As you can see, this is just for pedestrians. Um, but you don't have any lots, really. You might have a little front lot, <laughs> but that's about it. Bear in mind that um, people will be walking past your house all the time, tourists, especially at the weekends. It's going to be busy. Uh, kids skateboard. But yeah, so the walk street. So yeah, go north of Ardmore. Um, you get big homes with big, bigger lots and front and backyards. South of Ardmore, the walk streets, same size homes pretty much, maybe a little bit smaller, but no lots, but still the same price. And then obviously the Strand, you've got homes ranging all the way up to $30 million. So no matter what your budget is in Manhattan Beach, as long as it's $1.2 million plus, you can get a condo all the way up to a mega mansion. Um, I love the walkability of Manhattan Beach. It really is amazing. You don't need a car if you're never leaving South Bay. It's that good, really, really hard to beat. Maybe Santa Monica has it just, but it's extremely close. And then you have these beaches. Imagine living in that house. Your kids can walk down here nice and safe, go and play on the beach. They can go to the pier. They can walk to the shops. Um, what a lifestyle. If you're looking to retire, unbelievable 300 days of sunshine to be honest i can't talk highly enough about manhattan beach the only drawback if you ask me it's about 20 percent overpriced but if you got the money congratulations welcome to paradise i said at the beginning of the video that i definitely had a preference in terms of redondo beach hermosa beach manhattan beach i get let you guys know um I do have a preference, but to be honest, look, if your budget's under $2 million, Redondo Beach, you're right by the water, you're in South Bay, you share the amenities, you can't complain. Same with Hermosa Beach, three to $5 million, unbelievable. Now, if my budget was over $5 million, it would be tough for me to decide between Hermosa and Manhattan Beach, but yeah, I probably would go for Manhattan Beach. You're closer to LA um the restaurants and the bars for me are a little bit trendier which i like the walkability is great and the scores are excellent so if i was pushed to the end of the plank at the ship and i had to make a decision or they pushed me into the ocean i'd choose manhattan beach but it's pretty close also i've got a couple of off-market manhattan beach homes right now ranging between three and four and a half million dollars a little bit higher as well so if you are looking to buy they're not fixers but they need work put it that way uh, reach out. I definitely have some off market, which means no competition, which is always a good thing. Look at this home here. They're going subterranean to give it more square footage. You're only allowed to go a certain height in Manhattan Beach with the home. Obviously, try not to block your neighbor's view line. So a lot of people right now going underground. Cost a fortune. But if you can do it and you want the extra square footage, well worth it. All right, I'm off to find my car. Can't remember where I parked it. So uh, wish me luck. I'm Matt Tilly, the British bloke. Like I said, I'm a local realtor. If you're looking to make a move to Manhattan Beach or anywhere in LA County, give me a call. Always happy to help. Let me know if I missed anything in the comments below. I'll see you soon.